Sunny with Mark, and this is an ocean. Ah! It's actually really cold. And you're probably wondering, why is the personal finance guy standing in the ocean, in Canada, in the middle of fall? I've teamed up with Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, and thousands of other creators to help the Team C's mission clean 30 million pounds of plastic out of this ocean right here. Right now, you can go to teamseas.org and for every $1 that you donate, we are going to take out one pound of plastic from the ocean. And this is a big project. We have teamed up with the Ocean Conservancy and they are going to be cleaning up the beaches and the oceans by taking the plastic out. And we've also teamed up with the Ocean Cleanup and they are going to be putting in trash eating robots into some of the world's most polluted rivers because 80% of the plastic that is in our oceans comes from about 1% of the world's rivers. Now, we are a personal finance channel here, and so if you can't donate, I understand, but there's a lot of things that you can still do to help remove plastic and just clean up our environments. The very first obvious thing is when you go to places like beaches and parks, take trash and plastic out with you when you go. Every one piece that you take counts. But the most important thing that you and I can do is vote and vote with our dollars. And I don't mean by donating, I mean by our spending habits because this is a personal finance channel and we all know the power that money has. Because even if you don't donate, what you spend your money on impacts our environment. Even something as easy as stopping buying laundry detergent made from plastic bottles and switching over to True Earth's laundry strips that come in cardboard containers. While this doesn't seem like a big deal, this is huge because when millions of us across the world decide not to buy plastic and to buy better environmental products instead, the changes are dramatic. Your dollars acts as votes. So when you make a simple change like that, corporations listen and they hear and they say, listen, our customers are not buying these plastic jugs anymore. What are they buying? And let's produce more of that. The other huge thing you can do is hit the thumbs up on this video and share it with some of your friends and family. Because the more people that are aware of how our spending and consumer habits affect the environment, the better and cleaner our oceans and parks are going to be. And plus, maybe you have some rich friends that are gonna to donate to teamseas.org. And when we make better choices about where and what we spend our money on, we can actually become wealthier in the future, in the long run. So the next time you need to replace a new pan, instead of buying those plastic and Teflon coated pans, buy a cast iron pan, a pan that is not made out of a bunch of plastics and carcinogens, and that will last you a lifetime. And your wallet is gonna notice if you're buying new pans every couple of years, or if you just buy one pan and have that for your entire life. Some other things you can do, let me check my notes here, and also good for the environment is to stop buying plastic disposable razors and instead buy a metal razor with replaceable razors inside of it that you can use for your entire life. Or instead of using your dirty plastic dish scrubber, get a loofah from Blue Land. And instead of using soap containers from the grocery store for your dishes, go and try Blue Land's little pills that you can drop inside water that magically cleans your dishes. And let's buy used. What happened when we were kids when we learned how to reduce, reuse, recycle? I feel like it's just thrown out the window as adults. Let's reduce the amount of things we buy. Let's reuse things that we already have or buy products that can be reused in the future instead of disposable products or products that only last a year or two. And of course, recycle. But recycle is not just limited to throwing cans in the recycling. Recycling can also be referred to by buying used clothing and recycling that for another lifetime. So what other ways can you think of that can not just help with you saving money and becoming wealthier, but also help saving the environment and creating less waste and garbage and plastic that eventually ends up in our oceans? Let me know what you can do down in the comments because I want more ideas too, and I'm still learning as well. 
So drop it in, in the comments. And if you like this video and want more of them like this, that help you with your personal finances, hit the subscribe button. This is Money with Mark, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. This chair that I bought used is uh, super, super squeaky. Can't stand it. I need like some eco grease or something on it. Maybe I'll see if like Blue, Blue Land or Blue Earth, True Earth and Blue Land. I'll see if one of them has it. See you guys in the next one.